Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make strawberry shortcake. We need 50 ml of milk, 40 grams of butter, 1 cup of sugar, 40 grams of corn flour or corn starch, 2 thirds cup plus 2 tablespoon of plain flour, and 6 eggs. We're gonna be needing 2 pans for this recipe. I use 8 by 3. If you do not have two pans, it's either you divide the recipe in half, then bake, then work on the other half again. Or you can bake the whole recipe in one pan. Just make sure to leave enough space for the cake to rise. Preheat the oven at 190 degrees Celsius. And then the next thing we need to do is to prepare our pan. Line it with parchment paper at the bottom and at the sides of the cake because once the cake is ready, we're going to bake it straight away. Mix the butter and the milk, melt it in the microwave, then we will set this aside. Combine the flour and the corn starch, give it a mix, and then we will sift this later. I've got a pot of simmering water in here. Now we're gonna put the bowl with the eggs on top of this. Just like so. And then using an electric beater, start mixing straight away. Then add the sugar. Occasionally leave up um, your bowl to release some of the um, steam. To prevent the eggs from curdling and then touch or feel the eggs if it reaches um, room temperature or blood temperature once it reaches that temperature you can take it out of the heat Once you take it out of the heat, continue beating for about 6 to 8 minutes until we reach the ribbon stage, which I'll show you when we get there. We're getting close to the ribbon stage here. Again, we're gonna beat this for about 6 to 8 minutes, so be patient. We need all this foam because there's no baking powder or baking soda in this recipe. And this is now the ribbon stage. Now we're gonna sift in the flour and corn starch or corn flour. And then mix the butter using the folding method just like so be careful when you mix this make sure that you're not gonna deflate the air that we work hard for once the batter is well mixed in we're gonna add the milk and butter mixture again fold again if you don't have two eight inch round cake pan um, you can have the um, recipe first or you could just bake the whole mixture in just one pan just make sure to leave room for the rising of the cake. Then bake this at a preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes. Before baking, give it a light tap. And this is what it looks like after baking. Now immediately remove it from the pan, take out the parchment paper, and let it cool down completely. Now we're gonna work on the whipped cream. About 600 ml of whipping cream, 1 third cup of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla. This recipe is enough to um, for the filling and 
for the icing of the cake but if you want to decorate your cake you're gonna be needing um, another half a cup of cream one teaspoon one tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla just to let you know but that is optional so begin by whipping the cream add the vanilla and then the sugar continue whipping this until we reach the steeping stage and this is not the steeping stage be careful not to over whip the cream I'll cut the cake in half so we're gonna be using four layers but you can do three if you want to so start by cutting the strawberries just like so I use about two punnets of strawberries And now we're going to assemble the cake. Begin by adding cream. And then just smooth it out. Next is to put the strawberries. Then continue doing this until you cover the top with strawberries just like so and then put a uh, cream on top again then put the second layer then cream on top again then strawberries then cream again the third layer and then put cream again the strawberries and then cream again and now we're on to the last layer now we're gonna put the cream on top just to cover the cake and then just spread it around at this point um, it's up to you how you want to decorate your cake Push it towards the um, side so the excess icing will fall off. And then you can start icing the side. And then continue doing the icing until you're happy with how the cake looks like. I'm not too worried about how smooth my top is because we're gonna put strawberries on the top anyway so pipe some rosettes on top of the cake I'm using 1M piping tip and then I chop up some strawberries to put on top 
this is optional again I use two panet of strawberries for the filling and for decoration and now I'm gonna transfer this into my cake platter using two spatula to lift off the cake just like so I have leftover strawberries so I added it on the sides and then just to for extra contrast this is optional I've got some pecan nuts that I'm putting on the rosettes and this is our finished product hope you give them a try this is really good and then now it's time to cut the cake again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye